listen, I don't know who need to hear this, but this next season of your life is going to cause some people to wish they would have did right by you. Do you understand me? This next season of your life is going to cause some people to wish they would have treated you the way you deserve to be treated. It's going to cause some people to wish that they would have did right by you. They're going to be wishing that they didn't lie to you. They're going to be wishing that they didn't push you under the bus. They're going to be wishing that they didn't toss you aside. They're going to be wishing that they didn't ghost you. But guess what, baby? Go God say that I'm bringing you into a season of elevation to where these people are going to see you, but they're not even going to be able to touch you. They're going to be watching your come up. They're going to be watching your rise. They're going to be watching the favor of God all over your life. And God said, I gave them a seat in the nosebleeds, baby, because when they was with you, they dropped the ball. They fumbled the ball. They messed up the friendship. So God say they don't deserve the chance to shine with you. They don't deserve the chance to be on that stage. I don't know who need to hear this, but God said no man gets my glory. No man gets my glory. The Lord just spoke this in my spirit. He said, tell them I cause them to turn against you. Listen to what God is saying. He said, I harden their heart and I cause them to turn against you. I cause them to lie on you. I cause them to ghost you. I cause them to divorce you. I cause them to steal from you. I cause them to throw you up under the bus. God say, I am the one that hardened their hearts and I cause them to turn against you. And he said, the reason why I did that is because I'm about to get ready to get the glory up out of this situation. Listen to what the scripture to say in Exodus 7 and 3 it says but I will harden Pharaoh's heart so I can multiply my miraculous signs and wonders in the land of Egypt the Lord say I'm about to get ready to show up and show out in your life he said I had them to set you up because I'm getting ready to bless you up baby God said you there's about to be an elevation baby and it's got your name all over it and the people that did you wrong the people that threw you under the bus the people that ghosted you the people that hurt you the people that broke you let me tell you something baby god said they just had to play their part in your story they playing their part in the, in your story because God finna come in and God set it up so that he could come in and flex his muscles. God about to come in and shine all over your life, baby. The blessing of the Lord is getting ready to shower all over you and everybody that did you wrong, everybody that did you dirty, the Lord said they're going to have to watch it. They're going to have to see the favor of God on you. They're going to have to watch this elevation. They're going to have to watch God anoint you, baby. He said, I caused them to turn against you. I didn't, I didn't want them. I didn't want them standing beside you when my blessing fell on your life. Cause God said a heart was wicked. He said, their hearts are far from me. He said, they say that they know me with their mouth, but they life. when you look at their life, when you look at their works, when you look at their deeds, God said, they are far from me. They have a form of godliness, but they denying the power thereof. They really don't have it like that. They really ain't about it like that. They really ain't about that life like that. They 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 put it out there like they a believer, like, like they love God, but they really ain't about that life. They was just portraying that. They was putting that out there. Why? So they could get close to you. So they could attach themselves to you because they see your favor. They see your anointing. They see what God is getting ready to do with you. But God said, I'm not finna have it go down like no, that. I light a spiritual fire up under your behind today. If you ain't been letting your light shine, baby, I want you to give yourself permission. Take this as your sign, baby, your spiritual divine sign. Give yourself permission to let your light shine. Give yourself permission to be great. Give yourself permission to be awesome. Come on now. Give yourself permission to be everything. Not some of the things, but everything that God has called you to be. And the people that are meant to be in your life, they're going to connect with this new you. They're going to connect with this divine you. They're going to connect with the you that God has created you to be. Glory be to God. And y'all gonna come together and help y'all help each other make y'all dreams come true. God is bringing you into a season of elevation in every area of your life. I'm not just talking about materialistic stuff, but I'm talking about internal elevation. I'm talking about closer relationship with God. I'm talking about deeper revelation and with God. God said, I'm going to run it back one time for you, baby. And he said, everybody that abandoned you, everybody that left you, everybody that slept on you, he said, I'm going to wake them up. They got to get up for this. Do you understand me? They got to get up for this, baby. Just like they did with, with, uh, with David. When, when God sent Samuel there to anoint David as king, his brothers had to stand up. Do you understand me? God said, arise. Woo! When David walked in the room, I'm trying to let y'all go. But listen, baby, when David bust off in that thing, baby, like Eddie Kane Jr., that was the chosen one. See, that was the one that God had picked. It wasn't the one that the daddy had picked, but it's the one that God picked. Somebody put that in the comments, baby, say, I am God's pick. I might not be your pick. I might not be your cup of 
teeth, but I am God's peak. God picked me, baby, and you're going to have to take that up with God because I didn't ask to be him. He picked me, he chose me, and he set me him. So if you don't like that, you got to take that up with him. Y'all tell these folks, take that up with